physics course 2 which is going to cover the second book of NCERT physics for class 11. This course is designed to go into a little bit more deeper understanding of what you have already done up to the secondary level. Many of these concepts you will find are going to be repeated and some of them are going to be absolutely fresh and new. So, how is this course coming up for you? There are four units which we have divided into 42 modules covering it over 26 weeks that gives us ample time to study each of these concepts in detail with a little more care and fun. Now, why I say that fun part is because the first unit is studying the bulk properties of matter. What is it that we are going to study in that? We will study some properties of solids, some properties of fluids and liquids and some properties of gases. To arouse your interest in the topic of say solids, you are going to only study elasticity. Now, there is a little bit of elasticity in every solid material that you see around you. Whether you are designing a bridge or you are designing a chair or you are designing a concrete structure or you are making a pin or a needle, everything involves elasticity. Then in fluids which is both your uh, gases and liquids, you are going to do two properties only. One is the pressure that it exerts on the walls of the container in which it is and the second one is when the liquids flow what happens to them. The ideas behind it and the new things that you will learn will tell you why a tennis ball or a cricket ball swings whenever it is pitched or hit by a racket. So, these and more are going to be some of the things which will make you have a better understanding and more usability for the course that you are studying. For gases behave so peculiarly and so differently, there is going to be more dedication in this unit. You will understand how the gases behave at the molecular level and there is a whole unit uh, given for it called the kinetic theory of gases you will study thermal properties of materials. What happens to materials when you take uh, away heat from it or give some heat energy to it? From our common experience you know that either its temperature rises or its uh, temperature falls or for that matter it changes state and you can also talk about that it may expand or contract. These and many more of the properties, basic properties of uh, materials as such, you would be studying under thermal properties. You will also have a dedicated section in it, which will talk about what happens and how does the heat transfer. So, the methodology of transfer of heat, what are the rules and regulations for it and that will be covered in it. You might think it is a very bulky thing, no wonder it is called bulk properties of matter but it is not like that. It is a lot of fun, a lot of steady learning. We have done some nice videos for you. We have made the e-content readable and uh, very simple using a lot of examples from real life. One important thing which I wish to share with you right now is that the mathematics is very simple in it. So, there is a lot of conceptual understanding. And at every stage, we have tried to give you more and more to think about. And um, we have obviously tried to answer those questions along with it. We have included the experiments that you do in the lab. And these have been incorporated in the e-text. Why we have done that is because then you must realize that why you go to the lab and do a particular experiment. If it is not going to be linked to the theory that is being done. So, to make a good connection for you where you can go to the lab and try for yourself and confirm certain things that you are learning in your uh, theory class, uh, it, should, it should make it a little more likable. Then we come to a section of the course which 
as we have got the feedback from uh, students and teachers uh, and a large number of them said that this is a very difficult topic to deal with. And I think you must be guessing it right, it is oscillations and waves. What we have done as teachers and our team together is that uh, we have tried to put the kinematics of simple harmonic motion, which is just another kind of motion and then done the dynamics for it as to why a particular material or why a particular particle or a body would execute simple harmonic motion or for that matter oscillate or vibrate. Then we have accounted for the graphs that go with it and certain mathematics which is very simply done for you and this brings out the salient features of simple harmonic motion. Then we go to waves which is a method of energy propagation from a source to wherever this uh, energy reaches or wherever you are trying to look for this energy. How does it get to that point? This has to be understood. So, the waves have to be understood at this stage because they are a result of a source which is executing simple harmonic motion or for example, um, even in atoms there is oscillations inside them for the electrons all that part. So, light waves are also generated by an oscillation. So, so many of these things are to be covered, but in this course we have taken only mechanical oscillation and producing a mechanical wave such as the sound wave, studied that in detail, included superposition of uh, waves, included what happens on account of superposition and taken three very, very important results for it, which are interference and uh, formation of stationary waves or standing waves, then the beats, the phenomena of beats and how it is used in real life. We have also done the section on Doppler effect and for each of these we have tried to give you an experience of actual oscillation which will help you with your imagination. And so, this is how we bring this course to you, our team of very dedicated practicing teachers have put together the videos and uh, the e-content so that it is easy for you. And we have included one important feature in this uh, course which was not there earlier and that is that after every unit we have a revision unit which means we are going to recapitulate, recall everything all the salient features that you cover in that course and make you have uh, your own compilation of what is good and what you need to know and what you can use easily. So, uh, get ready for a um, fun time with the physics 2 course and uh, happy learning.